Welcome to Learn Automotive. In this video, I am going to continue the part 2 with the ReDTC information. In part 1, I have categorized the subfunction based on different requests. And here, I will continue with the first category that is ReDTC information request by status mask. So, status mask is the category 1. Before that, if you would like to follow me in Instagram or Facebook, yes, you are always welcome to follow to have a technical discussion and to know about the uh, referral drives and walk-in drives and if you want to follow uh, me in the YouTube yes you can do subscribe and share to your friends too. Read EDC information part 2. So here the six sub functions under this category that is by status mask. So what exactly the status mask and what this sub function tells. So status mask means the tester is requesting the ECU to get the DTC by using status mask. Before that you have to understand what exactly is status mask. So status mask means it is a it, uh, status mask uh, DTC status mask contains 8 bits. So the 8 bits are the DTC status bits. Say for example, every DTC has their uh, status. So that we'll discuss in the upcoming videos. So as of now, just understand you are uh, trying to request the ECU for the DTC using status mask. So this one you have to understand. All right. So this will come back again. And uh, yeah. First, what exactly is diagnostic trouble codes? Because we are requesting, uh, we are using this service that is our 19 services for requesting uh, the DTC. So we need the DTCs whatever stored. So that is all about the 19 services. So for that, you have to understand what exactly the diagnostic trouble codes is. So diagnostic trouble codes is a series of codes which denotes specific fault. Whenever any fault occurs in the vehicle, Diagnostic trouble code occurs for corresponding fault and it is stored in the ECU fault memory that is module that is FCM fault code memory module. The diagnostic service engineer can retrieve these DDCs by using a read DDC information. So here the diagnostic service engineer has to retrieve the information. He have to report it to the mechanic that these are all the uh, failures. So definitely the mechanical uh, engineer mechanical service guy will not come to know about these DDCs. So for that the diagnostic service engineer only take the DTC and he'll check the data sheet and he'll compare say for example here the DTC 1A2B3C example this DTC denotes spark plug is opened or damaged so what will happen is the serv diagnostic service engineer will take this DTC and he'll compare uh, in the data sheet and he'll get this information he'll tell to the uh, engineer that is a mechanic guy to check spark plug whether it is opened or damaged so you have to fix it so like this if all the uh, for failures or faults has been fixed then the diagnostic service engineer will clear the DTCs so this is all about the DTCs if you want to know yes still you can go through many blogs and channels all right let me continue here so what our main agenda is we have to check with the six sub functions that is what are the sub functions as I, as I said in this video I am going to be explanation on the first two sub functions that is uh, a report number of DTC by status mask and report DTC by the status mask that is 0, 01 and 0, 02. So now again so DTC status mask I, as I already said DTC status mask contains 8 bits that is whenever we want to know about the status of the DTC we have to request by DTC status mask. So you must understand two things that is status mask status mask is the input so we are requesting from the status mask and DTC status is the output that is response from the ECU alright so whenever you are requesting from the status mask you will get the D status of the DTC from the ECU so this is all about the understanding about DTC status mask and DTC status so now let me give the uh, example for requesting using the sub function 01 so 01 is a sub function right so here i have said report number of dtc by status mask so what this sub function tells is if you are requesting the number if you are requesting with this sub function ecu will give you how many dtcs has been stored so it will give you the exact number say for example four dtc is stored means it will give you the responses of four so how the request format response format let's see here here we are requesting with 190103 and the response we are getting is 590103 that is a positive response so the 40 plus is added and 01 is a sub function uh, we have requested and 03 is a see here they have mentioned 03 is a DTC status mask availability so we are requesting with the DTC status mask these are all varies from project to project and at, at the end we will get 01 and 06 is a 
main information so 01 is a ddc format identifier and 06 is the count what we are looking for so we are requesting mainly for this output that is 06 06 is how many number of dts has been stored in this uh, particular eco at the time of request so this is all about the sub function one that is zero one so zero one you are requesting from 19 zero so it is it depends you can uh, your uh, dtc status availability may be zero two or zero four anything so this is the just a format you have to understand so now you are requesting with 19 zero one zero three and if it is a positive response you will get 59 zero one zero three zero one zero six here the zero six is the exact dtc count what you are looking for so this is all about the first sub function in second sub function report dtc by status mask so that is sub function 02 if you are requesting using this 1902 02 is a sub function so here we will get is uh, 1902 03 again as i said it is uh, ddc status availability mask so the request is 190203 and the response we will get is 590203 then 1a 2b 3c so this is the only one dtc is stored at the time of request and uh, another last uh, last byte is 8f 8f is the status of dtc so here what exactly the status of DTC that also we are going to see uh, in upcoming videos. So as of now you have to understand using the second sub function if you if you request 190203 and the response positive response will get is 590203 1A2B3C. So here it's given 03 is a status availability mask and 1A2B3C is a DTC and 8F is a status of DTC. So I hope you got clear with these two sub functions. You just try to work on your own. You can just try to read some other uh, stuff to understand this. But this is an initial concept. Like you can uh, request with 190103 at 190203. So this, if you request these two sub functions, you'll get these two response. And still we have around uh, 19 sub functions. Yes, we'll go through one by one in upcoming videos. Like uh, three to four sub functions in one videos. Uh, I hope uh, you learned something in this video. If yes, hit a like. And if you have anything to share, you can leave your feedback and we'll try to improve in the upcoming videos. I'll get back to you in the upcoming videos. Until then, bye, take care. If you are really interested, you can subscribe to this channel and if you can follow me in Instagram or Facebook for to have technical discussion and to get uh, knowledge about uh, the other stuff. All right. I'll get back to you in the next video. Until then, bye, take care.